The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now, a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor, and if I have stored anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let's go straight to the most beautiful part of this Gospel, at least in my opinion. You see that Zacchaeus, this wealthy man, but also a sinner, was seeking, seeking Jesus. And at the end of the Gospel, of this Gospel, we hear that the Son of Man has come to seek what was lost. So it is the same verb in this translation, and also it is the same verb in the Greek, in the original text in Greek. Tseteo is the verb in Greek, and we translate that into English uh, with the verb seek. So, don't you think, how beautiful is this, that Zacchaeus was seeking Jesus, and Jesus was seeking Zacchaeus. Which means that the work of the grace of God is exactly the encounter between the profound longing of our heart, who is looking for Jesus, even if he's not completely aware of that, and then the mercy of God that is looking for us. There is a beautiful play of words that uses Saint Augustine, and that expression is the encounter in between our misery and God's mercy. Misery and mercy. And that's exactly what has happened in this chapter 19 in the Gospel according to Luke. Zacchaeus was seeking Jesus and Jesus was seeking Zacchaeus. And then they encountered, they met at the entrance of Jericho and that was the very opportunity for a life to be changed and a household to be saved in the name of the Lord. I, I, I think that this is the, the most beautiful part of this gospel because this also means that the Lord is seeking us, is, is looking for us. And if we really pay attention to the deep longing of our heart, I'm pretty sure we will find a way, we will find that tree to climb and also to see Jesus. 
and also to be seen by Jesus. Because it, this is also, or this all begins with the encounter of Zacchaeus seeing Jesus and Jesus seeing Zacchaeus. And that is simply beautiful. That is only great. Now we can ask, how was it that this powerful and wealthy man was longing for something? So what part of his heart was looking for something else? And then we find another profound message in this gospel. Yes, and, and it is that our heart cannot be really fulfilled only with the things of this world, only with created things. In some perspective, from some perspective, we could say that Zacchaeus was a man that was fulfilled and also a successful person because he had attained everything that the God, that the world has in great esteem. He had wealth, he had power, he was well, well recognized, but something was missing in his heart. And it was heeding that part of his heart, paying attention to that part of his heart that was how he met Jesus. And this is the importance, this is the importance of those times of recollection and silence, those times of really hearing the deep voices of our heart so that we can learn or we can find what is missing in our own lives. I also would like to mention the role that the crowd uh, takes part in this story, the crowd. It was the crowd that told Zacchaeus that Jesus was coming into town. So in that sense, the crowd was the first messenger that told Zacchaeus that Jesus was coming to town and also that Jesus was a very important person. In that sense, the crowd was helpful. But then, there is a problem. The crowd also became an obstacle because this man was of short stature, we heard, so that he was unable to see Jesus. The crowd was telling Zacchaeus that Jesus was coming, but the same crowd was becoming a sort of an obstacle for Zacchaeus to see Jesus. Even more, when the Lord says, I will stay at your house, then the crowd is grumbling. They are not happy with the fact that Jesus is staying in Zacchaeus' house. So again, the crowd is also an obstacle, a sort of an obstacle to God's grace, to God's mercy, acting upon the life of Zacchaeus. So it is ambiguous, really. It is ambiguous the role of the crowd. And we can say that this crowd is like an image of what the church is. Many times, and I mean, of course, the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church, if you like, because the church is pointing to Jesus, is telling you that Jesus is important, is telling you that Jesus is at hand, is very near, is telling you that Jesus is coming to town, coming to your neighborhood, is very near to you. So the church is, is the first messenger, but at the same time, it happens. We have to be sincere. 
And it happens that the church becomes also an obstacle. And the, 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 the same people that is telling that Jesus is important can become, a, can become an obstacle, preventing us or preventing someone to see the real Jesus. And we have to be humble. We gotta be humble and to enter into the process of conversion. It is very fortunate. It is really good that Zacchaeus took the decision of climbing that tree. But you know what other solution this problem had? The other solution was if the crowd would had would have made itself lower, lower. If we become humble and if we lower ourselves, we will allow the Zacchaeus of our time to see Jesus. Because it is our arrogance, our pride, it is our high status that is preventing many people to see the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are invited, we are invited to be humble. We are invited to be lower so that many people have the opportunity to come to know the Lord, to come to know Him and to find salvation. So, of course, there is the beautiful example of Zacchaeus and his conversion. But it is not only the conversion of Zacchaeus, it is also the conversion of we, the conversion of us, the crowd, to convert into humble people, into sincere people, that really keeps the roads open so that the Lord is visible and the Lord can be accepted and the Lord can stay at so many places that He wants to stay. May the Lord bring the gift of conversion to Zacchaeus, to the Zacchaeus of our time, but chiefly, mainly, to each one of us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And thank you, my brothers and sisters, for being here.